Hey guys, welcome back to Just Piddling Barbecue. I've got an exciting new addition to the Just Piddling Barbecue arsenal, and I'd like to share it with you. Stay tuned. All right, about a week ago, I guess, maybe a week and a half ago, um, Amber from Pit Barrel Cookers uh, contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in in using the pit barrel cooker um, and I said absolutely I mean I've seen them on other channels and things like that but I just haven't had the opportunity to use them in person after we talked I did a little research on the pit barrel cooker just seeing more about the company and stuff like that because I've had companies before contact me about their products and about using their products and uh, most of them I, I, I've just declined because I want to surround myself uh, with this channel with people, relationships, companies that have the same common interests and, um, and that are just good, honest, hardworking people that back their products. Um, and I think that's really important. And this is one of those companies. Now, Noah and Amber, they're uh, the president, vice president of the company. They're the inventors of the pit barrel cooker. And after reading about the company, man, I was all in because, um, you know, not only is this a, a, a great cooker, I think it's going to be a great cooker. It's the people behind pit barrel cookers that I'm really behind. And I say that because Noah, he's a, uh, he's a veteran. He's a Navy corpsman, and uh, just from being in the Marine Corps, there's just about, there's really not anybody that the Marine Corps or United States Marine will call their own uh, if they haven't earned that EGA, either on Paris Island or in San Diego, with the exception of a Navy corpsman. And uh, I have the utmost respect for the Navy corpsman, um, and so, you know, all the praises in the world to you, Noah, for uh, your service and, and keeping my fellow devil dogs safe out there. With his history, his background, you know, that was, that was all that I needed to know about this company. Now, in some of the biographic info um, that I read, you know, it says that Noah remembers when he came home from deployment and, and a lot of veterans threw them a barbecue and um, he remembers that taste and the smells and and the flavors from that barbecue and that's kind of what he had wanted to recreate with the pit barrel cooker um, and so one way to do that is exactly like this which is simple keep everything simple this is one of the most simple cookers that you can purchase and put in your backyard there's no frills there's no controllers, there's no uh, cords. Um, it's as simple as a barbecue can be. And that's one of the things that I like about it as well. Now he came out with this uh, company in 2010. And prior to coming out with the company, I think he had had 29 different prototypes trying to get the airflow right, trying to get everything right before he came out with it. And that's huge because I think a lot of companies today are coming out with products that haven't been road tested um, and they're falling short. I think this one is going to be right on the money. The research has been put behind it. It's been road tested. Um, and I think it's going to be a, a great addition to what I've got in my backyard. In addition to the research and, and uh, R&D that's been put behind this product, one of the most important things, and I know some of my subscribers are veterans out there, and, and most of you uh, comment on just about every video that I put out, and I can't say enough how, I, how much I appreciate that. Um, that's really important to me. Um, this one, and I'm going to show it to you, but this one has a Marine Corps placard on it. And if you're a veteran, no matter what kind of branch of service that you were in, if you're a first responder, firefighter, police officer, they have special placards that they can add to these barrels, uh, which I think is an awesome touch. Proceed, part of the proceeds from that go to uh, different foundations 
depending on the placard that was put on it and that kind of thing. Now I did, I, I've got to confess, I did open up the box because I was so excited when I got it. Uh, and I did get this hat out. I love the hat. Uh, love this style of hat. Um, I don't know who ever told barbecue guys that, you know, 40 plus year old guys that like to barbecue like stiff flat brim hats. That's not my style. I passed that when I was about 18 years old. Love the hat. So what I'd like to do is unbox it and show you exactly what you can expect when you get your pit barrel cooker. All right, let's get into this thing. Tear into it. First thing right off the bat, welcome to the barrel -ution. Thank you for your business. Right on the top, pit barrel all-purpose rub and beef and game rub. I'll be using those today. And a booklet. I'll be tearing into that here in a little bit. All right, now right off the bat, here's the lid. Packed in styrofoam. Nice, what you would expect from a barrel lid. Piece of foam. Cardboard. And now we've got the stand and the grill hinge. I mean the grill grate. And I'm assuming that's the hooks. So let me tear into this and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I just unboxed the hooks. I like the way they're uh, made. Nice, sturdy, strong hooks. You don't have to worry about these bending at all. Uh, so I like that. Here's the stand that the pit barrel's gonna sit on. And I'm gonna put it on these pavers right here on my cool deck. The only uh, assembly that's required on this is for you to put one handle with two screws with a screwdriver that's included on the lid and you're done assembling. That's another thing that I like about this thing. They've included the uh, grill grate with it. I'll put that right here. Now let's see what else we got. They also sent a, uh, a hinge grill grate. And I'm excited about this because this will give you an opportunity to cook hang meat as well as cooking stuff that you can't hang like chicken wings, vegetables, potatoes, that kind of thing on the other side. Now here's the hanging grill grate and I love this option because this takes all the cooking options to the next level. You've got this grate here and you can cook chicken wings whatever you want to on it but say like this afternoon I'm gonna cook some baby back ribs and probably some vegetables too. So what I can do is flip this side open. Now I can hang my ribs through here off the rebar and then still cook my potatoes and my zucchini and squash on this side. So I love this feature right here. All right, a couple other things that they included in my package was a, uh, a turkey hanger. I'm gonna leave this in the package for now. It's not quite turkey season. The ultimate hook tool. I love this thing already because it's got a bottle opener on the end of it. That's what you pick up the hooks and remove your meat with. And then you got a little uh, cerveza opener on the other end. I've got a cover in here for the pit barrel. And then I've got the uh, attachable ash pan. And I'll show you how that works. All right, here's your ash tray right here. And then here's your charcoal basket. And basically what you do is you set your charcoal basket on there and just slide it around until it locks in place. And then when you pull your uh, charcoal basket out of the barrel, the ashes come with it. You can unlock it, dump that stuff out, and you're ready to go again. 
And now let's get this barrel out of here. There's a Marine Corps placard on the front. Let's get this out of the way. And then here's the two pieces of rebar. All right, so this is the unboxing of the pick barrel cooker. I want to thank uh, Noah and Amber for giving me the opportunity to work with them. I'm really excited about it. I'm ready to start cooking on it. Uh, and I've got one more person that I need to thank. Um, I think Mike over at Everyday Barbecue had something to do with, uh, I know he had something to do with um, Amber contacting me about uh, using the pit barrel cooker. And I'm gonna put a link up here to his channel. You won't find a nicer guy and a great cook as well. And uh, go over there and check his channel out if you hadn't already. Um, great recipes great guy and he's a great friend and uh so thank you mike for suggesting me over at uh pit barrel cookers now i'm gonna go get some baby back ribs ready to put on here and i'm gonna try it out and see how it goes expect a, a uh, cook with the pit barrel cooker in the next couple days and i'll post it on my channel until next time i'll be piddling